Okay, what's up guys? I wanted to make a Q&A video because I have a friend or fan viewer named Juan who sent me this message to say, hey, I'm Juan, I'm studying journalism and I want to do an interview with you for homework, but it might be easier if you just made a Q&A video. And that's a good idea. I get a lot of very, very similar questions all the time, so I figured this is a good opportunity to address those questions. And I was reading through some comments looking for the common questions, and I saw a lot of comments that are just funnier comments I, I just wanted to throw in just for fun. Uh, so some of the questions I have are, why did you choose Columbia? What inspired you to travel? Are you planning to come to Bogota? What do you miss the most from the US? And what is the hardest thing to get used to in Colombia? Um, that's a lot of questions. I will just run through some of the YouTube comments that I've found. I found a lot of YouTube comments that I want to throw in here, but I'll narrow it down. And anything that I don't answer, I'll do that at the end. How do you survive? What's your income over there? My income is, income income is really just through my YouTube channel right now. I saved up a lot of money before I left the United States from working and some gifts graduation gifts from family, so really appreciate that. Honestly, with my YouTube income, I'm kind of almost to the point where I'm kind of balancing myself out, um, so I'm not losing a ton of money day to day. Mm, loved watching, even though I usually avoid and hate crowded beaches, like this one on the Playa Blanca video. Can you tell me which programs you use for editing your videos? For the Playa Blanca video, and at this time I was using iMovie, like nothing special, comes with a Mac. Since then I'm using Final Cut Pro, which I downloaded, and it's basically the same thing as iMovie, just some more functionality, or I mean, as far as I'm using it, I'm not using it for like professional film editing or anything like that. I would really like you to do more nightlife videos or videos where you talk to average Colombians on the street. Okay, I can do that. Can we get longer videos, bro? Love your vlogs. Uh, yeah, they've been getting a little longer recently, but to be honest, like I don't, I don't like watching videos that are like more than 15 minutes. Like that's really long for me, so it's hard for me to make really long videos just knowing that I would never watch videos that long. Uh, what's your heritage? I'm very white and like Irish and European. Hey man, I am thinking of heading to Colombia. How much money should I save up? This is so common. Like this form of this question, I get this a million times. How much should I save up? Uh, I spend 150 bucks to 200 bucks a week is really what it comes down to. Oh, oh, that's right. So he says, <laughs> Uh, I want to live like a king. If you want to live like a king, you, you'd spend like 400 bucks a week. Like 1500 a month, you'd be living like a king out here. You'd be solid. Eat out every meal, stay in a nice hotel, go out at night, buy drinks, do the touristy stuff. Yeah, 1500 a month, you'd be solid. That was sure boring. Sorry. Uh, video sucks. Sorry. The quality of the video is pretty good. What did you shoot it with? Okay, this is like the most common question I get. I shoot with my phone, so I can't show you the phone here, but actually I'll show you this photo. That's a pretty good example of what I'm looking like when I'm walking around filming my videos. Just got my phone in my hand. A lot of times I'm pretty like discreet about it, so I know all the conversations that I get. It looks like I'm just holding my phone up. I'm kind of a sneaky beaver. I take it you're staying in safe places? Even though I'm Hispanic, I wonder how safe it is. I have never felt really in danger. I guess in Cali, maybe I felt a little in danger, but really that's like now that I'm looking back and I hear all the comments and like stories of what happens in Cali. I, when I was there, I didn't really feel unsafe. And definitely not in Medellin, like in El Poblado. And here in Armenia, it's like not at all. I've never felt unsafe here. I think it's a really safe place. And honestly, I've felt more in danger like being downtown Seattle, like late, late at night, you know, like 11 or 12 at night or, you know, in any other big city. It's just like anywhere else. The big some big cities. I like how you don't try to be anything you aren't. Just a chill dude talking about how he spends his day. Nothing super exciting, but it's all really interesting because it is all stuff most people relate to. Cool. I appreciate it. Yeah, that. I mean, that's been my goal with the whole videos thing. I was a big fan of other YouTube vloggers like Gabriel Traveler. I've watched a ton of Gabriel Traveler when I was in college, and like he's been my biggest motivation. And he's just a super super chill dude. Doesn't try to do anything or be anyone he's not, and uh, I've always really liked that format, so I try to keep it very honest and just try to be myself. Condensed milk, yeah. On my on my most popular video, the uh, nightlife in Medellin, I did not know what condensed milk was, and I definitely know what it is now. Questions from someone looking to visit Medellin in May. How did you budget for all this? Did you get a decent flight? Uh, yeah, actually, I got. I flew here using credit card miles. I kind of like figured out the whole credit card miles thing and then got my flight down here for for free basically and I still have a lot of miles left over that I'll use to go back home or go to Europe 
wherever I go next. What is the best and safest way to change currency? I just pull it out of the ATM. Uh, by the way, what led you to travel solo in Colombia and end up staying there as long as you have? After a couple of weeks, I would get homesick, I can't lie. Yeah, I definitely get homesick sometimes, especially now. It's been about two months, it's about the time where it kind of starts to set in, and um, sometimes like it doesn't feel as crazy special that I'm out here sometimes. You know, I'm, pr I'm, very, I'm pretty used to being in Colombia. But as far as picking Colombia, I just wanted somewhere in South America that was cheap and had nice weather, and I've heard great things about Colombia. I heard the people were really, really nice, and Medellin was beautiful, and I just figured I'd start here. I want to go south, I want to go to Argentina, I want to go to Ecuador, Peru, and I want to go north, I want to go into Central America and stuff like that. So, this is just the beginning, I just kind of picked this place to start. One big fucking boar. Sorry, Fred. They did not dig the video. Take advantage of your single room and run around the bed naked. Thank you, cookie lover. I will do that. Watching you do shots for five minutes? WTF, you're not that interesting. Where is the pussy? I don't know, Gavin. I don't know. Duh, it's condensed milk. Thank you, Chad. It is sweet and condensed milk. Thank you, George B. Condensed milk. Thank you, Wim. That's condensed milk. Thank you, Manny. That's your area. Sweet condensed milk. Awesome, Richard. Thank you. Those gringos only come for drugs and women. It's not true. Not true. You never explain why making friends is easier in Colombia. Well, I felt like it was kind of implied, so I guess I didn't explicitly explain why it was easy, but... I mean... <laughs> I don't know. I was making friends in the video. It seemed pretty straightforward. Well, everything is much cheaper there here in Maryland, but I'd be very confused about the rate of exchange. Are you using a calculator or your head, and how much in paper does or pesos does one need to carry around to get through the day? Good question. Uh, no, I don't use a calculator because the exchange rate is about three to one or three thousand to one. So basically, you just divide stuff by three and then take off a few zeros, and you have the price in in U.S. dollars. And how much do I carry? to get through the day. I carry a little more. $40 US, no, I carry closer to 100 bucks US. How does this guy go around filming these people? That seems like they would get weirded out. Uh, most of the time they don't know I'm filming. Yep, most of the time I just have my phone, I kinda like hold my phone like this, kinda like a weirdo. And people look at, I see people looking at the phone, like why is this guy holding his phone like that? But I get all the footage that I get that way. So in the beginning, like I was more intentional about telling people I was recording, but it's easier just to like, just go for the stealth record and it usually works out fine. Uh, it is condensed milk. You should have shown more hot girls in this video. Sorry, Bobby, and thank you. And hello, Marshall. I'm from Greece. I found your channel three days ago and I love your videos. Probably watched them all. Awesome. And the adventure you have. I just want to ask you if you tell me the average total cost of living in Colombia, preferably in Armenia or Medellin. I bet you could, you could swing 700 bucks a month. Especially if you get a if you get an apartment and you cook for yourself, you could swing like four five hundred bucks a month out here easily. I live a little more expensive. Live in a hotel, eat out all the time, and I spend like eight hundred a month. Thank you, Marshall. I enjoy your videos a lot. Columbia and especially Medellin are in my future plans. So the way you're doing these videos is very informative. Regarding the locals, I'd like to ask you about their friendliness and readiness to make plans and hang out together. When they do offer you to go out to show you around, do they mean it? Like do they follow up with the plans or just being polite and friendly in the Colombian way and you never hang out? Don't mean it's in a negative way, blah, blah. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. I mean, it's a good, good question. Like Colombians are, it's kind of a, a stereotype. They're pretty flaky people when it comes to like getting together and hanging out or dating or something like that. It's like, it's kind of a difficult thing to get together and actually uh, have plans come to fruition. I've, I've experienced both though. Like, so yeah, some flaky girls or some flaky um, dates or something like that. Yeah, I've experienced that and um, you just get used to it. Or I'm starting to get a lot more used to it. Like plans mean a lot, they just mean a lot less here. And it all comes down to like the day of how everything's going. It's just kind of all up in the air until someone sends that text and you like, have like a confirmation and then it's stuff ends up happening. But I'm just so more used to plans meaning so much less here. And that's just kind of the, the culture and you get used to it. At first being an American where plans are like law, like it was really weird at first and I was um, really didn't know how to kind of get used to it. But no, that's a good question. How long are you going to be in Columbia, Columbia for? Uh, my visa runs out in like a month and I can extend it. I can extend it. However, I don't know. Maybe I'll move on to Ecuador or maybe I'll go to Panama. I have no 
plans until like summer when I kind of want to go home for the summer. Uh, could be great if you upload more often. Really enjoy your vlogs. Um, yeah, thanks, Niall. I am not going to be teaching for too much longer, and so I'll get back to recording every day and uploading every day, which I really think is the best move for me right now. The channel's doing really well, so I might as well take advantage and just keep uploading. Lechera, condensed milk. Thank you, Ryan R. I love the videos, Marshall. Keep up the good work. I have a question for you. Self-taught with Spanish, or did you go to school? I took some Spanish in high school, a couple years, and then uh, forgot most of it. You know, the grammar sticks around when you like pick it up later, so that's good to learn the grammar. And then I actually just did a lot of like language exchange online, Skyping, and WhatsApp, and uh, there's a app called Hello Talk, and it like connects you with people who are trying to learn English, and you and they're trying, they speak Spanish, and so you guys can awkwardly talk back and forth and it's great practice and you just get to practice speaking that's like I felt myself improve like pretty drastically because it's kind of like immersing yourself from home lol it's condensed milk thank you okay what a stupid video it deserves a zero for quality I think that's quality all right sorry Fabian condensed milk thank you condensed milk soy mexicano I'm a Mexican and I'm planning on a trip to Colombia what part of Colombia would you recommend I visit? Medellin. Yep, you can't go wrong starting in Medellin and then you know you go from there. I I think the Armenia and like the coffee region is beautiful. It's like right up there with Medellin. I don't know, they're very very different. The the coffee region is like a beautiful, quiet little place and it just has like a very special energy to it. But Medellin is kind of like how do you beat Medellin? It's it's amazing. You travel alone? Looks like fun. Cute girls. Yeah, I travel alone. I, I like it. You know, I, I like my alone time and being alone pushes me to do what I'm doing, to make these videos, to record, to ask questions, to like be curious. You know, it's easy when I'm with another person to just kind of like fall into um, being too comfortable and just like staying staying comfortable, you know, and it's this is a good challenge. Sometimes you get lonely and it's um, not always the, the most fun thing in the world, but it's very rewarding. Shitty video. Do you know why you don't flush toilet paper? There's a reason. I think it's just the plumbing. Um, they can't really handle the toilet paper being flushed in the toilets. Do Colombians hate the everyday normal American? By the way, I'm anti-Illuminati. Okay. No, they don't hate the at all. No, some people are really curious about Americans and some people don't care at all. But people in Colombia are so nice. Like, I always just am like blown away. So I've never felt like I'm being targeted or being uh, harassed or anything because I'm an American. Like, never, never, never felt like that. Lol, just discovered your channel today, enjoying your content. Also, is teaching English well paid? No. Nope. And did you get to college or have to hold a degree to teach in Columbia? Nope. I mean, I have a college degree in computer science. Didn't help me teach English at all. But um, no, it doesn't pay well or where I taught didn't really pay too well, but um, it's more about the experience in my opinion and it'd be, it would be good enough to survive on, I think out here if you had an apartment or something like that. You seem to put a lot of emphasis on the mighty dollars, typical, instead of the culture. I, yeah, I don't know what you're asking. Stop making nightlife videos. Okay. How was the guado, gringos? The guado was good. The guado is the aguardiente. Yes, it's my favorite drink. No, I love it. Lechera is condensed milk. Are you interested in dating? You don't seem too interested in the pretty girls. Um, if the time's right and if the, you know, if the connection's there. I'm not out here trying to, um, you know, find the one or get married or anything like that. Um, you now, if, if, if it happens, it happens. I'm not too worried about it. It's condensed milk. When did condensed milk become something so exotic? Are you really telling me you've never tried condensed milk in your home country? Yep, that's, that's what, kind of what I was saying there. Randomly found your video, your channel a few days ago and literally binge watched all of your videos. Keep the content coming. Cool, thank you. Great videos, takes a lot of guts to do what you're doing. Enjoy the stress and uncertainty because normal life back in the States is not that exciting. In this case, youth is, youth is not being wasted on the young. Keep posting. That's a really nice comment. Yeah, sometimes I, think of going home and I want to be back in the familiar. However, I know how long, like how long I waited to come out and do this. I was in college just counting down the days. Like, yeah, could not wait. And now I'm finally out here. And even though this isn't perfect, this is still real life and I'm still experiencing all the emotions of life. You know, it's not perfect just because I'm traveling. It's still, I think, uh, a pretty awesome experience. And 
I think that I'll look back very fondly on my time that I spent here traveling, whether in Colombia or whatever comes next, because I don't know what's coming next at all. Not interested in going to Colombia. Nothing really nice, fun, and happening. There are other... <laughs> oh, yeah. Jess says, there are other videos, dude. Yeah. Like, that's like eight minutes of me uh, drinking water and lecherita with those guys. It's not the only thing that happens in Colombia, so... Yes, there are other videos. Condensed milk. Fucking American idiot. Doesn't even know how to speak another language. Alright, Jonas, I'm learning. I'm learning, alright. Me gusta, I'm glad. Thanks for the video. I'm looking forward to the one where you get jacked hard. Yeah. I get those comments a lot, and it, you know, it'll probably happen at some point, but I don't know. I don't think that's a reason to like not do what I'm doing out here, just because that someday I probably will get robbed. Life happens, I don't know. Clickbait titles, check. Clickbait thumbnails, check. Great composition, storytelling, increasing subs. All right, thank you, Justin. Justin is a longtime friend of mine via Xbox Live, so. Shout out to Justin, thank you. For the comments, I always enjoy those. Absolutely love your channel. Thanks for the insight into the country and culture. Thank you. When you are 12, don't you have to have your parents co-sign, let alone live on your own in an apartment? I do look very young. I have always, always looked very young. I have a case of the baby face. I know that. But I'm going to be 26 in like five days, four days. This guy, King Tom, says, what about Coke? I don't know. First of all, I don't know. I didn't come here to do Coke. And it's really not that, like, not that big of a thing out here. You'd be surprised. People don't really talk about it. And then... Mr. Nurse in Texas says, would realize that every gram of coke you buy in Colombia contributes to the gangs and narco-terrorists. But yes, it's very cheap and pure. And then this guy says, every gram you buy, <laughs> there is a gram that didn't go to the children. Save the coke snorting children dot org. Oh, that was pretty funny. How old are you? 26. God damn, you're cheap. Yeah, I am a very cheap guy. And I'm, I always am in the United States as well. I always found like the cheapest, cheapest place to live. And uh, don't really spend too much money. I'm working on it. I mean, I realize that it's important to enjoy yourself, even if that means spending a little more money. Another nice video. You have a gentle soul. I think that is why so many people like to watch your vids. Hang in there and get the guitar already. Come on, don't be so cheap or so stingy. Yeah, I did get the guitar. I decided to stop being so stingy. Thank you, SFS Phil. I really appreciate the nice comments. It really means a lot. Teaching English seems like a lot of fun. Do you have to speak really good Spanish before you teach English? That's a good question. I could benefit from speaking better Spanish. Like the beginners, sometimes you just have to explain stuff to them in Spanish because, you know, they don't, they can't understand anything other than like very, very simple sentences. And so speaking Spanish helps, but no, you definitely don't need to know Spanish or a lot. Thanks for sharing. Are you planning to go to Peru? Kevin, thank you for commenting. You always leave nice comments, so thank you, Kevin. Uh, yeah, at some point. It's not like super high on my list or anything. I just haven't heard a ton about Peru one way or the other, so I bet I will make my way there, but I don't know when. Probably later this year. Let's see, what did we not answer? Uh, why did you choose Colombia? Answered that. What inspired you to travel? Uh, what inspired me to travel was, actually I went to Brazil like four years ago in the summer, and uh, I just had a great time staying in the hostels. I was in San Francisco for a little while, made kind of a trip out of it. Really from that time, I like knew that I wanted to to travel and spend my time in my 20s just kind of living this kind of lifestyle where I'm bouncing around and meeting a bunch of people and living this lifestyle of a little more free freewheeling a little more rather than just working a, a 9 to 5. Not to say that I won't eventually work a 9 to 5, totally probably will, but just for now anyway. What do you miss the most from the US? Uh, my friend Amos left a good comment, or he asked me the same question last night that I answered to and it was really nice and therapeutic to kind of type it out. I miss not having the language barrier for everything. The language barrier is fun sometimes. However, like, people stop you on the street and you know, just want to ask you a question or something and you have to be like, what? Like, I don't understand. And like, sometimes you come off as a little cold and, you know, it just gets in the way a lot when you're trying to connect with people. And already when you're traveling, like, connecting with people is something that you don't always get every day. And like, you need a lot when you're traveling. You need to really seek out and take advantage of the opportunities you have to connect with people. And so, when there's a language barrier in the way of those opportunities, it can be really, really frustrating. So I miss not having a language barrier, and I miss just kind of like knowing how everything works. You know, going out to eat or going shopping, and just 
like the prices and just kind of there's just different routines for everything. There's just it's different cultures, there's different routines, and like and I just miss being around some friends sometimes. Like I make good friends when I'm traveling, but I definitely have learned that being home and being around people who have known you for years, you just can't really replace that. I plan to come to Bogota. Yeah, eventually. I just keep hearing I keep hearing really bad things about Bogota. Like I'm, no one ever tells me that they love Bogota, and so it makes it harder for me to want to go out there. But I'll make it out there. The homework is due this Wednesday. That's why I'm making this video. He said the homework is due on Wednesday. So, cool. Hope you appreciate it, Juan. That's been the Q&A video here from Mr. Marshall Powell Vlogs and uh, more content coming soon. Alrighty, I'll see you guys next time.